Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I'm going to show you guys the secret hidden menu that you're able to self-test and self-diagnose your Samsung device. So there could be many reasons on why you'd want to take a look at this menu, and it goes a little bit more in-depth than what Samsung offers you with inside of Samsung members. So you can take a look at all of your LEDs. If you feel that there's an area where an LED or a portion of your screen went out, you can take a look at each individual colors. You can take a look at your receiver, the vibration motors, your mega camera, which is the back camera, your touch screen all of the sensors like gyroscopes, the speakers, your front camera. If you have an S Pen, you can also test the S Pen Touch as well. And as I was mentioning from before, there is another way that you can diagnose your phone and that is through the Samsung Members application. And when you open up the Samsung Members application, you can simply tap on Diagnostics and then you can go through and you can test these. So you can simply touch on any of these and it will go through its test to see if there's any problems. And so there is a few in here that I kind of played with, but I do kind of like this one over here. It's a little bit more in depth. Now, in order for you to get into this menu, you want to go star pound zero star pound. So again, to do that, you just go star pound zero star pound. Once you get inside of there, you can test all of the LEDs, seeing if there's any areas or a spot that it's it's kind of black and it's not working. Uh, you can test your receiver, so it'll make a loud sound through the receiver up here, just to make sure that that receiver is working. So if you're trying to do maybe a phone call and you can't hear anybody through your earpiece, but you can hear them on speakerphone, then this is where you might want to test the receiver to see if there's any issues. Vibration, if you notice that your phone is not vibrating when you think it should be, this is where you can take a look and test the vibration of the phone. Mega camera is just the rear camera. Same thing here, the front camera is to test the front camera. Sensors, this one's pretty cool. This is pretty much all of the sensors in your phone. So the accelerometer sensor, so you can actually just move your phone around, take a look at the changes of the X angle, the Y angle, the Z angle. Here's the barometer sensor. You can go to your altitude sensor. So if you're in an airplane, you can take a look at how high up you're going. It's actually pretty fun. Your gyroscopes, here's the magnetic sensor. Uh, you can even do a fingerprint test as well. Well, so if you want to take a look at the sensor information, so maybe Samsung might be asking what info or what is the sensors, you know, uh, you know how, what sensor is being used in the phone. You can probably give them these details here. And if you find that you can't go back by, you know, swiping back or tapping the screen, just hit on one of those volume buttons. It'll get you back a screen as well. So here's that fingerprint test as well. It's going to go through a normal scan. It's going to see and make sure that everything is running. So you can take a look at all of the results of every single thing. So again. Again, if you feel that there is a problem, you can self-test it, and then when you diagnose and find something, then you can let Samsung know that you did this test and this is what it came up with. So heading back again, I'm gonna swipe twice. Uh, we just got done doing the sensor. So this one right here is for touch. So if you feel that there's an area of the phone that it's just not really working so well, you can actually go pretty much anywhere on the screen just to see you know, what's working, what's not working. And in order for you to get out of the screen, you do actually have to highlight all these little rectangles. So so you have to go through your phone. You want to go around the edges and then you want to make that X through the center. And it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing when it comes down to an S Pen. So I remember somebody asked me a question about how maybe the top left hand side of the phone wasn't really reacting with an S Pen. So you can do that with either drawing or you can do it as a hover. So if you do a hover, I'm just going to hover over the screen and you can see here uh, that I am not touching the screen. You may not be able to see it, but I'm just hovering. I'm just slightly over the display. I'm just hovering the S Pen above just making sure that everything is reacting the way it should. And then the same thing with the drawing. So when they mentioned that it wasn't too active on the very top left hand side, I actually just went inside of this test here and I was able to go through and, and test it for myself. So it works for me. Uh, and yeah, so again, you just want to go through, take a look at all of the edges. Uh, you want to go through the middle, create that X. So if you feel that there could be areas of your phone, that is having problems. So this is where you'd be able to go through. And again, it is a test. It's a little bit more in depth than just the regular Samsung diagnostic screen that some people may have. Uh, if there is a couple of boxes that you're missing, you will not be able to get out. So you want to make sure everything is highlighted uh, and then you can back out this way. So we took a look at some of the sensors, the touch, you can, you can test the speaker. So when you tap speaker, you can change it between the top and the bottom. Uh, we already did the S Pen. You can take a look at the version of pretty much everything. You can also take a look at a black screen. So if you're tapping the screen here, again, this is one of those where if you try to tap and go back, it won't. Uh, all you have to do is hit on a volume button and then it'll take you on back. 
So that pretty much kind of covers everything that you would normally would like to take a look at. Again, it's star, pound, zero, star, pound. Now there is one more screen that I do want to show you, and this is where you'd be able to take a look at the information about your phone. So if you are contacting Samsung or you're activating a new phone or you're doing something and you want to get the serial number or the MEID, this is where you go star, pound, zero, six, pound. And a lot of the People at the store may know about this code. They may not know about this code, but this is how you're able to get your MEID and your serial number of your device. Now to give you a comparison of everything that the Samsung Members app allows you to do, this one is just an application. You download it, Samsung Members, you can get it from the Galaxy Store. Now inside of here, it'll show the screen because I'm a part of the One UI beta program. I'm gonna go back to the main full application, which is right here, which is what you're used to seeing. And on the top right here, you can go to Diagnostics. So through here, this is where you can go through and you can test some things. So you can test your NFC, the battery status. Uh, when you tap on that one, it's gonna say life is good, capacity 5,000 milliamp. Uh, you can actually go through and you can and you can test it again just to make sure that everything is all typical. Uh, you can test your mobile network, the official software, making sure that this one is a official software coming from Samsung and it's not loaded in. So this one is just showing normal. Uh, once you're done with one, it'll put a little check mark. So it shows that I have seven of them that's tested. There's 18 left to go and there's 25 of these tests. So you can test the camera, vibration, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, face recognition, cable charging, USB connection, S Pen, fingerprint recognition, wireless charging, wired headphones. I mean, there's a lot that goes on inside of here uh, and you can kind of notice the or see the differences between this one and the other. So you can kind of see the key differences between this one and the other one. This one's very simple. Uh, it's, it's Samsung going through everything, very basic tests, the speakers, the flashlight, you know, things like that. Turn on, is the flashlight on the back of your phone on? You say yes or no, it is. Uh, so that one is working normal. Proximity sensor, this is just making sure that maybe when you put your... Uh, you know, the phone up to your ear that the screen turns off. So all you have to do is just cover the top of your phone just to see if that proximity sensor is there. It recognized it, everything is normal. So this is one of those tests you're able to do. Maybe if you want to, you can go through both of these tests, uh, but this one's just kind of just making sure that your phone is working. Uh, the other one, the star pound, zero star pound is really one of those that's really in depth. It's one of those things that Samsung will probably do in the testing area themselves to test to see what's wrong. So again, if you run into any issues, that is where you can find them pretty much either of those locations but i like the more in-depth hidden menu that's a part of all samsung devices hopefully you guys appreciated this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you appreciate this video the more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later